Hi, I'm Emily Taylor from Collage Quilter. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few of my tricks for hanging collage quilts, okay? So first of all, we have my most simple method and maybe my favorite. Um, I just use thumbtacks. <laughs> and I stick the thumbtacks up in the corner between the binding and the quilt um, on both sides and voila, it hangs there pretty well. Um, but if you don't want to put holes in your walls, I have a few ideas for that. So let me show you the next option. All right, here is another great way to hang your quilt, and this won't leave any holes in your walls. So for this, I'm using the command strips that you can just pull off, and they're the Velcro command strips. So you can see the Velcro pieces up there. Um, what I have attached them to is a yardstick. So I com completed my quilt. I actually, instead of doing binding, I did a facing on it. So it leaves the front of the quilt really clean and modern looking. And then on the back, it leaves these pockets that I can put my yardstick in. So we, um, we actually got kind of handy and just cut this yardstick so that it would fit ex precisely. Um, in the pockets and then I put the command strips both on this um, thing and then on the yardstick and then I hung it up. So I'm just gonna hang this up and show you how easy this goes. Okay, command strip, I'm gonna line them up and Okay, so now I've got another quilt that I can hang up really easily without any holes in my walls. Let me show you some more ideas for hanging your quilts. Okay, another way to hang quilts, and I've got lots of quilts hung up this way, is using another um, adhesive. So this is actually a permanent Velcro adhesive. And I've hung a piece of Velcro all along a wall uh, that allows me to interchange my quilts. So I hang this piece here, and then I'm using these super, super strong magnets. Let's see if I can get them apart. They're so hard. <laughs> there. Okay, so they are really powerful magnets, and they work really well if I adhere a little, I just cut a little piece of the opposing uh, Velcro to one side, and then I can move these around as I need to. So see that? On the background, you can see that I have a little bit of the Velcro adhered permanently to a piece of that magnet, and then on the other side is the opposing magnet. And I can just move these around, take them down as I need to and whatnot. So that's another way to hang things. You'll notice too, the traditional way of hanging is to put a quilt sleeve like this but I don't actually ever use a quilt sleeve in my own home. The only time I ever have used a quilt sleeve is at a quilt show when they have the rods that they're hanging quilts on. So most of my quilts have quilt sleeves, but I don't use them in my own home because I like to be able to change things around and have um, spontaneity moving quilts as I get them and whatnot. So anyway, I... Uh, let's let's talk about the final um, way that I like to hang quilts and I'll see you back here in just a second. Okay, another way to hang your collage quilts is to use a poster hanger like I've done here with Clementine. So this is a really sleek and modern way to hang something. A poster hanger, let me just show you real quick. Uh, for a heavier quilt like this, you'll want the type of poster hanger that has the little screws that screw into the quilt. Um, or you can use these for lighter projects, these magnetic ones, where you can just put the, the quilt right in between and hang it up. Um, and let me show you another way that I've used poster hangers. And I will also provide links uh, to Amazon where I have purchased these poster hangers. They come in different sizes. So you can see I've got a big one here. Here's a medium one and a really small one. When you purchase a poster hanger, it comes with four pieces, okay? Like this, one, two, three, four. And unless you're gonna, you don't have to use the entire thing. In fact, with one poster hanger, I've been able to hang up four different projects. Let me show you. I ended up just using a single poster hanger 
um, in the facing pockets. So similar to the way I hung up my aviary quilt, I've just created the facing on this project and then taken the uh, poster hanger and slip it into the pockets. And of course, I keep in mind, you know, the size of the poster hanger and that kind of determines the size of my project. Um, so that's a really easy way to do it. And then for the ends that you don't have the poster hanger, um, go ahead and just use a ribbon. So for this little, this little guy, same thing. I used, you can see there are the magnets there, but I just created my own hanger with a piece of ribbon. And so again, that's, that gives me, I can hang up four items with the purchase of a single poster hanger and they come in different sizes. Okay, so that's it about hanging the collage quilts. And if you have any questions, give me a holler and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.